Hello, welcome to the Dave Trumbo Show. I'm Greg Royce here with Stevenson Women's Volleyball Head Coach Dave Trumbo. Coach, you had a busy week last week, went 3-1. and one. Let's go through it, start with the uh, Marymount match on Wednesday. Just take us through that match, 3-0 uh, win. Well, that was kind of a little grudge match because they had beaten us on our floor last year, which yeah. was a little, we were a little surprised yeah. that Marymount played very well. So we wanted to go down to Marymount and return the favor. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, we were able to do that. Uh, all three games were really competitive, uh, really close, and um, decided to buy just a couple points. Yeah. And we are making a habit of stepping up at the end and making plays, and so hopefully that continues to the season. But uh, Marymount's very good. I think they'll uh, play very well in the uh, AC Oh, excuse me, the CAC yeah. uh, this this season, but uh, it was a good night. If you can beat a team like that on their home court, it's a good sign. Yeah, um, obviously. Then this weekend you went up to Susquehanna. You played three matches. Um, first match against Susquehanna, you dropped the first one, and then came back to win the next three. Um, just take us through that match. Uh, well, that was an interesting weekend, you know, because all three teams have been in the NCAA tournament before. Yeah. So, and Susquehanna um, got an at large last year. They, you know, they just lost a few players, and so they, they had beaten Mary Warsh. So, and we're going to go on their court, you right. know, again. We're, we're, we're playing the hosts on their yeah. court. Um, and Susquehanna, the first set, we were, we were horrible. We yeah. hit negative uh, 197 or something. We hit a lot of balls out. We yeah. couldn't serve the ball in. Uh, but thankfully, we settled down. I think we were just too pumped. Yeah. And we settled down and started to play some good volleyball and uh, settled into our game plan. We are able to win the next three. So that was, that was huge for us. Susquehanna's record isn't great, but they play uh, an amazingly tough schedule. So to get them on their court, that was a huge win for our program. Yeah. And then you stay up there for Saturday. You play two matches. Um, you play Brockport first, beat them 3 nothing, And then you face Carnegie Mellon, that ranked number 16 nationally. And battled hard for two sets, and the third set just right. ran out of gas a yeah. little bit. Well, you know, first, the Brockport match. Yeah. Uh, they went to the Sweet 16 last year, and they only lost one player. Yeah. So we were really aware of you know how good they are. Uh, they didn't play, play particularly well the first and second set against us, and yeah. we were able to take advantage of that. Third set was very close, 2020, and we scored the last five points. So all the scores didn't look close. Yeah. Uh, it was a lot of back and forth, uh, really good volleyball. Then, um, unfortunately, when we were shaking hands with Brockport, the clock had already started for the next match. Yeah. <laughs> so we really didn't have a lot of time to put in, you know, our our scouting report uh, and uh, kind of re-energize. I thought we played really well yeah. against them and. I'm not taking anything away from Carnegie Mellon. You know, I think they're going to be higher than the number 16 this week. Yeah. They were very, very good. Uh, but on 20, we, we had them 24-24 and a, a free ball to use, and we just weren't able to convert. Yeah. Uh, second set, we were up 21-20, yeah. you know, and then they scored the last five. Third game, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> we just played terrible. Uh, all in all, 2-1 and one against that kind of competition, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm not overjoyed because I would have loved to win Absolutely. another match, but uh, I'm happy with that um, th with that weekend, and so now we can get ready uh, for this week against Catholic and St. Mary's. Yeah, we talked about that in the past where this is really the one tournament that you were really looking at where you're going to face, not to take away from who you face in the other tournaments because right. you face some good competition, but this was really going to be a test. And to mm -hmm. come out 2-1, and one, I mean, overall, like you said, obviously you'd want to go 3-0, and oh, but overall, what do you take from the weekend? I think our kids came out feeling very confident. You know, I think I think they know that they can play with Carnegie Mellon. I, th I think they, you know, and we pretty handle not I wouldn't say handily, but we were yeah. we were better than yeah. the other two teams at least that weekend. And th and they know those those teams, you know, have a good chance of being in the NCAA tournament. So right. uh, Annika and Mariah both were all conference. They, you know, and but. You know, Katie Leffridge had a career game against Susquehanna with 19 kills, and she played out. It just, you know, well, somebody else is going to step up each night. So I think it was a, a, a good experience for us. Um, we also have Juniata and William and Lee, Washington and right. Lee coming up. So we've got some other tough oh, matches absolutely. coming up. But um, you know, I, I think it was, it was a good weekend for us uh, as far as confidence and uh, knowing we belong. Yeah, and this weekend, obviously, you're home, you know, just second time all year. You have Catholic and St. Mary's. A little bit of a break, because that helped to refresh a little bit, having no matches during the week. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, absolutely. They were off Monday. We can do a little bit of team bonding, uh, along with a kind of special practice today, yeah. and really go at it hard Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to get ready for this weekend. 
We get a break because we're home team. So yeah. we play first and third. Right. We play Catholic at one and um, St. Mary's at five. Uh, that'll be nice, and we'll get a little break and spend uh, some time eating <laughs> yeah. uh, between matches um, and really you know, kind of enjoy being home. And so yeah. hopefully we can put a uh, – well, we have a good performance. Yeah, and just um, talk a little bit. You know, obviously, you know, two programs are usually pretty fairly strong. Just talk about what they bring this weekend. Uh, Catholics in the landmark and t- tip the a pre- preseason poll. They were number three behind Susquehanna and Juniata was yeah. first. Uh, Catholic has battled and been in their conference tournament. You know, every year for I don't know how many years. Um, Nagy, their head coach, you know, had said to me last year he was getting a great recruiting class and thought this was going to be the best Catholic team he'd ever had. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, we're ready for that. St. Yeah. Mary's is having kind of a down year. They've, yeah. they've been pretty strong, have a new coach uh, that was kind of like in midstream. So she's not been able to really recruit, I think, mm-hmm. as well as she wanted. So I don't think she's even been there a year yet. They've had a little turnover right. in coaching, and that hurts sometimes. Uh, so, but St. Mary's has a lot of potential. Yeah. And so, if, you know, these teams, if we don't play well, we're going to lose. Right. Uh, so, you know, we're looking forward to playing both those teams on Saturday at home. All right, Coach. Well, best of luck this weekend. Uh, we look forward to seeing everyone here Saturday at Owens Mills Gymnasium. Again, 1 o'clock and 5 o'clock. Um, Catholic at 1, St. Mary's at 5. For Dave Trumbo, I'm Greg Royce. And this has been the Dave Trumbo Show.